Hello and welcome to part 4 of my pivot table series. In this short video I'm going to show you how you can use the report of filter command in the pivot table series. So first of all I'm going to click in cell A1 and this is purely so that I can activate the data that I want for my pivot table. The first step when creating a pivot table is to click on the insert tab on the ribbon. Then click on pivot table command in the tables group. Excel then presents you with create the pivot table box and here because I've already selected cell A1 Excel presents me with the correct cell range that I require for my pivot table so I simply select OK. You will notice in this box that it also says I'm going to put this on a new worksheet for you so pivot tables they will quite often as you'll discover they will appear on a different sheet completely in your spreadsheet file so I'm going to select OK. Now, what happens is the pivot table field list box will appear on screen and this essentially is where I'm going to build my pivot table from. So for my pivot table I can use as many of these fields as I want. I can put them um, in duplicate boxes as well depending on, on the, the view that I want, the way that I want to view my data. Pivot table means you can pivot the information, you can drag it all around the place and decide which way you want basically to view your data on screen and as you do this Excel will do the, the summing and the totaling of the various um, categories of information for you so you can build a, a, a really nice pivot table without any knowledge of uh, formulas within Excel. So for this one I'm going to drag the customer field down to the role labels box and drop it down there. Notice now how Excel begins to start building my pivot table here on the left hand side of the screen. I'm going to select the quantity and I'm going to bring the quantity field down into the values because I want to total up what quantities my customers are getting. And what are they getting? So now I would like to actually drag down my category field down into the row labels box as well. And so you can see now how beautifully Excel has laid everything out. However, it's still quite busy, you know, and so this is where the report, um, the report filter would come into play. So instead of having all my customers showing like this, I'm just going to drag my customer field. I'm going to drop it up in here into the report filter box. In this report filter box, anything you want, kind of any, whether it's a product, whether it's a customer, whatever it is, you can drop it into, in here to the report filter box. And have a look now at the spreadsheet up here, just below B, column B. You can see where it says all and the little arrow that will allow us now choose customer by customer to show the relevant data on screen for these categories of information. So just to show you that I'm going to just I'll drag this little box over here out of the way for a moment. I'm going to click on the down arrow and look how Excel has organized these into alphabetical order as well. Isn't that terrific? Look at this. I mean it just the pivot tables does they really do such a great job on, on analyzing data and sorting it and so on. It does a beautiful job. Okay, so we will select Law Chambers and we'll select OK. So quickly you can see there's a little filter pot here and anywhere where you see a little filter pot, whether it's in Excel or Access, it will really tell you, hey, this is only filtered out. There's more data lying behind this somewhere. It's come from, a, it's been filtered out. So it says Law Chambers. They had 52 breakfasts and 17 dinners and 42 lunches. So we're pleased with the Law Chambers. So that's how you use the report filter command and the, when you're building a pivot table from the pivot tables field list. Thank you for watching Step by Step by Miriam and look out for my other videos in the series.